Hey, welcome back to Wind Security. We're just hanging out at the BlackBerry booth at uh, CES 2020. Ran into Steven Olson, a field application engineer, which I love how vague that title is. <laughs> yeah. But the way that you explained it to me, I think really matters because BlackBerry is not the same BlackBerry that a lot of people yes. know. So when I asked you what you do, tell them what you said to me about what you do and then we'll figure out why it's relevant for everybody else. Yeah, so in essence, a field application engineer is the person that interfaces with the customer early on in, 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 in an evaluation. They're trying to understand our technology and our job is to bring that technical expertise to the customer and then answer any of their technical questions, if any follow-ups, if they have any deep specification needs, we'll do that. And then after the sale, we'll actually work with the customer and in any type of situation where maybe they don't understand some technology, they want to get in deeper in a certain area. And I'll interface with them maybe on some services engagement. So I bring that customer expertise, or the expertise of the product to the customer so that they can make better product decisions. So the reason that we're hanging out in Land Rover's new Defender, which by the way, check out hashtag new Defender for more information on that, shameless <laughs> plug. Um, and why we wanted to get you in on this is to help people understand what BlackBerry is actually doing. You are part of the Cunix team among other hats that you wear, but like this rig is loaded with BlackBerry technology and people don't even realize it. So that's, that's right. One of the, the, we got to tell that story in a way that people get what's happening. What's happening? Yeah, and, and it, for instance, a lot of companies or people don't, they know BlackBerry from its days in cell phones, but they don't know about its pedigree with QNX. And they bought, purchased QNX and that brought in the safety side. BlackBerry already had the security. So the foundation of our system is safe and secure, reliable and deterministic. And with that, we're providing software solutions in the infotainment and the cluster. So if you look at a lot of the dashboards of some of these cars, they are running QNX, and that has to be safety certified. But alongside, we'll run in the infotainment system, we'll run Linux or Android, and we'll hypervise that on the same technology. So it's the same hardware, we're running both safe and unsafe. And then we'll go one step further. We'll actually take the map from Google Maps, We'll take a snapshot of that and we'll bring it up onto the safety cluster. It's still safe because it's walled off and we're, we have that technology that can move that and allow the ease from the user experience to be able to look at that map right in front of them instead of having to look down. And this is all happening on board. This isn't, you don't need connectivity or to be in the cloud or anything like that. This is onboard mechanisms in this car right now. That's correct, that's correct. So we're doing that. We've got the backup camera here. So it's, it's actually using the camera from the back. We've got autonomous drive solution, so now you're getting into the actual driving of the vehicle. So taking all the sensors, all the different cameras, all the different LIDARs that might drive in a level three, level four car, and uh, taking those, integrating them in a way so that you can fuse the data, understand your surroundings, and then do your path planning. So a lot of our customers will do that on their own, but they need that sensor framework to build their solution on top of. And this is where BlackBerry is, is doing a thing that nobody knows that we do, for one, so we're trying to tell you that, but can you do it without QNX? I mean, what, what, if there's competitors that someone would want to talk about, but could this vehicle do some of the things that you're talking about, be safe and secure, without QNX being the tie that binds? Yeah, it's, it's a great question because a lot of our customers that are starting out in this space, they think Linux will do it because they can run a lot of this software on Linux, but it's not safe, and that's the key part. Having that safety element on top of it and security, I mean, both of those things are key for our technology and they're key for our customer success that safe, having the evidence that goes along with it, and also a lot of training. Sometimes we'll bring in our expertise, we'll bring in a trainer, and train our customers on how to build software safely, and how to walk them through that process with the regulators. So this is a lot of stuff to take in, and we're going to be continuing to pound this subject, but for more information, make sure you get out to blackberry.com, check this out. Also, no kidding, not just a shameless plug for Land Rover, the new Defender, is, like I said, it's loaded with really interesting technology. We are some of it, we're a key player in it, but there's a lot of other interesting thing in there too. If you want to see what is happening with the new connected automobile, this is the one that you want to look at. Is that fair to say? Oh, absolutely. Not just because it's our baby, but. No, absolutely. There's a lot of our stuff in here. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of manufacturers that uh, are using our stuff. It, it really, we are the operating system for the automotive industry. There's no one else that comes close. The Blackberry booth at CES has three cars and a motorcycle that goes 200 miles an hour. You know what it doesn't have? Bones. It just doesn't anymore. So if people are looking for more information about you, anything going on in the socials? Or are you one of those security types who likes to keep uh, things quiet? I, I don't do a lot of that. I mean, certainly I'm on LinkedIn and Twitter, so you can you can see me there. Uh, Olson Steven one I think is my, my handle Easy on there, enough. so there you go. 
Uh, but also you can reach out to me in, in QNX and find me. I mean, certainly I'd, I'd love to help. See, this is the guy. He wants to help you understand what's going on. For all the rest of the things, we already said it. It's BlackBerry.com. On Twitter, we are at BlackBerry and at Silence Inc. My name is Matt Stevenson. You can find me at PacMatt73. Uh, I'm really ready to get in this thing and drive away, but we got one more day for CES. We'll see you soon.